Hello everyone, and welcome back to Afternoons with Manny. So we're continuing the Let's Play after we had just spent our first four perks. We got Gun Nut Rank 1 last time, so we're going to go on ahead and upgrade our weapons. We're going to go with probably uh, the Powerful Receiver, namely because it's just giving us tons more damage. As it shows, it says Superior Damage. It's a little expensive, but I found that it was necessary because we're working the uh, pipe rifle with the 38 caliber ammunition. And here you can see me going with a uh, long ported barrel. I was trying to decide uh, which one I wanted to go with, but I pull my sights up a lot, so I think that's going to really help me out. And here I am just deciding on some extra things. I wanted to go with the marksman stock, but I did ran out of adhesive. At that point, I knew that uh, it was time to go, and we needed to go ahead and get an adhesive farm established. So I've been trying to work the uh, four crank laser musket lately. It does like huge amounts of burst damage, but if you miss, it becomes a bit of a pain in the ass. I think I'm gonna use my uh, base as sanctuary this time. There's a couple of things that I want to uh, try out. Namely, I want to know how uh, important it is to get the uh, first rank of local leader. Because you know, can you make a settlement that's self-sufficient by uh, adding scrapper benches and things like that? I mean. I know it would probably take like a million years for him to get the scrap up, but that's just uh, one of the things that I wanted to try with this uh, Let's Play character. And you can see I'm still not messing with the Red Rocket. Or uh, the dog. I mean, you know, the dog's cool, but I don't think I need any companions right now to uh, weigh me down. In a little bit, though, then it becomes pretty fun, especially when you... Uh, outfit them and give them proper equipment so we're making our way to the farm I'm trying to move as fast as possible keeping an eye out for enemies this early in the game we don't have too much to worry about there's no like albino death claws creeping behind corners and things like that I've been trying to pick up the hub flowers whenever I can. You use them to make psycho. And uh, in the early game, when there's not much available, it's a good thing. And so you can see me trying out the new rifle. Just seeing how it works. These mole rats, they were moving in too fast. I like the power. It was taking us two shots to kill. Yeah, so I'm thinking that the first four perks were really well spent. It seems like we got a lot more damage. And then there's even things that I haven't even begun to uh, get into yet. Namely, I don't have my chest piece. I don't have any of my armor upgraded. Because <laughs> we just didn't have the adhesive. But we want to make sure we pick up all the spoils from our kills. Especially the teeth and the hide. The teeth and the hide are deceptive. The teeth are bones. And one tooth is one bone. So you end up with like a good bit of uh, cutting fluid at the end of the day. Huh. And we're just steady making our way there. And then I like ran up on these raiders out of nowhere. And you saw that concentrated fire coming. Yeah, good shot. So it was raiders, their mongrels. I mean, we were really in. Don't attack dogs. Always in my mix. But you guys can see how our concentrated fire is making our shots count a lot more. 
and then because we switched to the layered armor system we got a lot more uh, damage threshold than we had before yeah line it up pow <laughs> right in the sack hood that's nasty it's like you're uh, suffocating in the sack hood I guess he doesn't care about that and it's raining again I've been getting a lot of bad weather in this area but we'll try to continue to move fast at this point in the game I really just want to keep moving fast I want to keep leveling up I want to keep advancing the game's difficulty because at that point you want to make sure that uh, you're ready for it but then the action just gets so much more intense and then your kit gets so much more intense and you get special pieces and your power armor game is tops stealth systems with power armor is really fun or the jetpack just to totally break the game Several times I've gone places I haven't supposed to have been able to get to in the jetpack and I've fallen through the building and ended up at the first floor again. So, good times. And I'm just trying to clean up a little bit. I need more loot. I don't want to make sure that I don't uh, miss anything. It's not really too hostile out here, which is good. I think I might have lost my bearings here for just a second. And the rain doesn't help. In fact, we're probably on a crash course for disaster. Yeah, it's looking that way. But we'll keep going. All right, so we're making some moves. I think I've figured out that I'm lost. Yeah. I was supposed to be going the other way. So what are you going to do? I think there's a little more exploring to be done. It's a pretty dangerous zone. So I didn't want to go out there too far. I am so glad that mountains are climbable in this game. Oh, and then you see this little survivor hut right here. Had some jet. Some 38. He had a nice lean to. He couldn't pass through it, though. I thought that was kind of redundant, but I guess maybe he liked it like that. But as we can see, he wasn't all too happy about us uh, taking his jet. It's him and the dog, and I decided to go for him, because why not? Yeah, oh, he's going be hurt. And then all it is just a bad dog to deal with. Tough dogs. Seriously tough. The dog was tougher than his master. And here we go, just doing a little bit of looting. Our original mission was to get an adhesive farm set up, but we're getting further and further away from it. And here I am, just trying to get some HP back. I didn't cook any food before I left. I did a new move and just ran. But that 6DT, it is really doing it for us. And then we see something that we probably don't want to get into. But, you know, there's always some action. This place is pretty cool. It's got that sentry bot sitting over there. And he's not active yet. Oh, some flame fuel. And he's not active yet, but you can activate him. But the way you activate him is really strange and you kind of don't realize what you're doing especially if you didn't come in from this way and you come in from the front way and you uh, look on that terminal over there but this is a pretty cool place 
you can get some really cool stuff in here like the uh, hot rod magazine right there that is my uh, favorite power oh, yeah. armor color hot rod flame red it's pretty nice the Adam cats black and red is pretty nice too and after that we're feeling like we got some pretty good scrap I decided not to mess with the sentry bot just because her primary weapon is a pipe rifle and we probably wouldn't even put a dent in that dude I think I had to psycho jet him the last time Psycho jet and shotgun. And even then it was pretty serious because for some reason mole rats decided to spawn while we fought him, so I got crippled a couple of times. It was good. And we're still moving. Picked up a couple of wild carrots. Didn't need them. Do need the hub flowers though. I'm thinking that I want to try chemist this game. Just to see how the uh, effects will be when you like use Psycho Jet. Will it go from 15 seconds to 30 seconds? Okay, so we're about to go on ahead and load. Okay, I think we got our bearings back again. Yeah, I can see it in the distance. I got totally turned around at the beginning. And we got bot flies. I think we're trying to test our stealth out just a bit, and it went poorly. <laughs> Gotta stop shooting at third person so much, but it's important. I like the third person action. <coughs> it was always like an uncharted. Tricks and charted. Like, alright, like. Fallout 3. <laughs> But I guess because that was a game where you could primarily fight in VATS like 100% of the time. And with 100% accuracy, especially when you get your guns up to like 95. And then you'd pretty much be unstoppable. So we made it to our first destination. We're here at Abernathy Farms. This is a nice settlement. It has a lot of building area. Especially the fur the first front half of it over there. Hi. You can That's get a nice enough, cottage stranger. mansion a in there. Farm. I built we one five truck. by five over there, two floor. It was it was nice. It was expensive. Neither do I with the deck Just passing everything. through. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here. So don't try anything. Let yeah, these you, guys, they're not too bad. His easy. wife's kind of mean, Out in the field though, all day, every day? She softens and up every minute quickly. of it. Spent watching your back. Now, we had already taken care of what he wanted. You gotta be he careful. He was looking for a lot. You know who you can trust these Something days. that his daughter had lost in that. a raider attack. Blake Abernathy. You new to the Commonwealth? Yes. Luckily for us. And no. It's we a were story. already... Good to see a new face. Taking care of How about it. you? Have a think when about we went to the satellite station, Olivia. I'm sure I'll give it a try someday. Well, good luck. I kind of didn't plan Maybe it I'll that see way. You at the I could have done it the, uh, and we'll the normal swap. way, but word of advice, uh, though, like we kind of needed up a, farm, a farm. Although I kind of had why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Available to me at the time to make the adhesive farm. You need to do what you can. To protect you and your family. You gotta protect it ain't yourself, that simple. bro. They're well armed, and there's lots. The of talk them. is cheap. If I drive them off, they'll be back with that. twice as many men. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Okay, man. I Only twenty-one years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's Long why we need the Minutemen much. back, and the sooner, the better. There's nothing worse than losing she a child. She deserved it. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have That's much to offer, bad. but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. I took care of some raiders God, earlier. Bro. I think I found the locket you're talking about. And if we serious? didn't, it honestly would have been a lot easier news. from this point Connie's on to go get speechless. the locket. I'm sure she'll go because lean on those guys are in a done. higher level and zone. I mean, it's not like workshop. a really higher level Least we zone, can do. but it is a higher level zone. So, anyways, we got some good experience for finishing that up. 
Blake told you me what you did for us. Level. For Mary. That's his wife. I know it's not much, but yep. any level trading six, you want right. to do, I'll go easy on the price. But you know, with uh, true fashion, we're not going to level at. till ten. Sure. Which things interesting. So I just wanted to see what she had. I wasn't really in the market for anything. I just wanted to see. Was thinking about that Trigger Man's bowler. Look, plus one might have been kind of stunt. But we'll keep our hat for now. It might bring us some luck of our own. Yeah, go ahead and sell off, bro. Too many guns isn't going to do you any good. Jeez, broker. That's no, okay. We don't need anything else from them right now. I believe I'm looking for mud fruit. Yeah, I believe I'm looking for mud fruit, but she just doesn't have any. So we're going to go on ahead and, uh, yeah, you catch it on deal. Man, we are broke. That's okay. And then they got potatoes. Oh, it looks like a radiation storm might be, uh, coming in but we'll go on ahead and get some run but then I thought that maybe it wasn't a good idea just to leave this place so we're going to see if we can give them some water at least because if you kind of listen to them subtly you can pick it up and then we wanted to plant some corn, that's right. Because we need corn, potato, and mud fruit. But the potatoes out front in this game haven't glitched yet. Um, that's a question I got for everybody. Does anyone else have Abernathy Farms potatoes glitch what is that? where they are sort of non repairable? Launch? And no matter how many times you repair it, they just never repair? I don't know. It was only half the yard, and then now it's like almost the entire yard, so I don't know. I don't really worry about it because they got a mud fruit farm out there. And then for anyone who doesn't know, there was a stash of cinder blocks over there underneath the uh, stairs. I was hunting for those fierce one time. I think for the same reason, because they want water. But we didn't have the concrete. Okay, we're just gonna plop down two, I believe. No, just one. And I'll do a little bit of cooking for the next episode. And here I am checking that. But it's getting pretty hostile, so I think I'm gonna probably just wait a little bit for the radiation storm to pass. I mean, it just seems really rough, so thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe.